Look out, little dog. Hi guys, it is a spectacularly gorgeous, I mean over the top beautiful day here in the end times in the paradise of Portland, Maine. Uh, here on this gorgeous, going into Labor Day weekend, Friday, August 31st, 2018. We have made it to the end of another month in 2018, amazingly. So I've got to get into my probably two-part ecological meltdown roundup rant. But before I do, we're going to share comment of the day. And uh, I think I just shared a comment from this, I assume, the happiest gnome is a, is male but it doesn't really make any difference so anyway this is what the gnome had weighing in on my uh my whine yesterday about the absolute futility of uh, prepping for doomsday all right take it away happiest gnome what are your feelings on this yeah the future is terrifying to imagine. I'm still looking for the right attitude after freaking out my important people. This tragedy is confusing as hell and no attitude sticks. But some straight laughter and integrity both help. I have no time for plastic corporate culture and am nauseated by it now, but can't help but see it. Optimism can go fuck itself. I think we found the title of this comment. Optimism can go fuck itself. It is an invitation to cognitive dissonance and inevitable frustration and anger. Business as usual ain't on the menu. Pandora's box is open and fucked if I know how to swallow that pill and feel the wind on my cheek. Bitter Cassandra for the time being looking for a laugh and some reassuring sanity and trying to reconcile with evil without being enraged by it. Good luck on that one. It's like getting angry with sharks for being sharks, which is pretty much a paraphrasing of uh, Don Juan Matus. I don't know if Happiest Gnome is a reader of Carlos Castaneda. Don Juan used to say, you cannot get angry with a mountain lion for acting like a mountain lion. That, you know, when Don Juan was talking about you can't get angry with humans for acting like humans. Uh, anyway, let's look at a few more comments along. What does Donald Treebeard uh, have to say about what is he doing to prep for Doomsday? Treebeard, my goal is to survive for as long as possible. I have four years worth of supplies and an underground shelter to sit out the heat waves and superstorms. Oh yeah, very low population around here, so the marauders will be few, and if they do show up, that will be their mistake. I'm going out fighting and not on my knees crying for my mama, as well as members of my tribe who are also a committed bunch. So I was just, uh, so William Flaherty, who, where I was, you know, I recorded that in front of his own growing stockade of supplies. Uh, I have an invitation from Brother William. When the shit hits the fan, brother, you know, you and Sancho Panza are welcome here anytime. <coughs> just show up grab a gun and some popcorn, and we will ride this out together. Yep, 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 it's nice to know. Uh, and I wanted to read, where is Osama? We're going to wrap up with Osama number five. Uh, where was his plan? Barbiturates in bourbon. 
There, I am all prepped. Yes, and Osama, I will be catching up with you next week. But uh, Anyway, guys, enough procrastinating. I have a lot to do on this beautiful day, so I'm going to wrap this up. And we're going to head over to mangabay.com to see how this planet is heading into a brick wall at 67,000 miles per hour this week as the clueless fucking morons descend on the coast of Maine. Coming right up. Bye, guys.